The Ukrainian defense forces have found loopholes in the Russian air defense system. In particular, during their attacks on Russian facilities, the Ukrainian military may fly around areas where air defense or electronic warfare systems are concentrated. This was stated by Ukrainian military analyst Ivan Stupak on air at Kiev 24, commenting on the drone attack on an oil depot in occupied Feodosia. It is wrong to say that the Russian Federation has a problem with air defense. There are certain crises in certain areas, directions, but it is not worth saying that it is leaky or that it does not exist. But here is a different story. They attacked with drones. This is a small object, and the S-300, S-400 systems are designed to shoot down large capacity vehicles, for example, a helicopter, an airplane, a missile that flies at high speed, the expert noted. According to him, drones can only be shot down by the Pantsir S-1 system or small arms. That is, here, we should emphasize not the fact that Russia has leaky air defense, but the fact that Ukrainian defense forces can find gaps in the Russian Federation, fly around the places where air defense or electronic warfare is concentrated in order to inflict maximum damage, Stupak emphasized. The analyst added that the drone that attacked the oil depot in Theodosia is difficult to spot. It flies low while the S-300 and the S-400 systems operate at high altitude. Ukraine's military says it has carried out a strike on a large oil terminal off the coast of the occupied Crimean Peninsula, the latest in a wave of attacks targeting Russian-controlled energy facilities. At the same time, Defense Express experts noted that this attack was important not only from the point of view of complicating enemy logistics, but also clearly demonstrated the state of Russian air defense. According to them, this shows that in Russia, not everything is so cheerful with anti-aircraft missile systems. However, this often fits into the rule, the deeper into the Russian Federation, the less air defense. Kiev has said that its strikes on Russian energy facilities are fair retaliation for Moscow's strikes on its own energy infrastructure, which have frequently plunged millions into darkness. At least 80% of Ukraine's thermal power and one-third of its hydroelectric power generation has been destroyed in Russian attacks. President Volodymyr Zelensky said in June. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un warned again that he could use nuclear weapons in potential conflicts with South Korea and the United States, as he accused them of provoking North Korea and raising animosities on the Korean Peninsula, state media reported Tuesday. Kim has issued similar threats to use nuclear weapons preemptively numerous times, but his latest warning came as outside experts say North Korea could ramp up hostilities ahead of next month's U.S. presidential election. In a Monday speech at a university named after him, the Kim Jong-un University of National Defense, he said that North Korea will without hesitation use all its attack capabilities against its enemies if they attempt to use armed forces against North Korea, according to the North's official Korean Central News Agency. The use of nuclear weapons is not ruled out in this case, he said. Kim said North Korea's nuclear response posture must be fully enhanced because South Korea and the United States are pushing to beef up their military alliance based on joint nuclear and strategic planning, a move that he said would increase the danger of breaking the balance of power on the Korean peninsula. Kim apparently refers to the new South Korea-US deterrence guideline that the two countries signed in July to integrate South Korean conventional capabilities with US nuclear weapons to better deal with North Korea's evolving nuclear threats. South Korea has no nuclear weapons. Tensions on the Korean peninsula deepened in recent weeks, with North Korea unveiling a facility to produce weapons-grade uranium, a nuclear ingredient, and continuing a run of missile tests.
자랑찬 학업 성과로 받들어가는 믿어온 교직원 학생들을 따뜻히 축하하셨습니다. 주체적 힘으로 개척되고 성장하여 온 일이 담보되고 있습니다. 새 시대의 국방공업혁명을 훌륭히 떠받드는 믿어온 역군들의 대가 굳건히 이어지고 있는 것은 우리 국방공업의 막강한 위력과 무진한 발전력을 확신케 하는 가장 소중한 성과로 우리 위협의 백년 대계를 확보한 군사적 강세로 억척같이 담보할 수 있게 하는 조선노동당 중앙위원회 비서 조충용 동지 조선노동당 중앙위원회 제1부부장 김종식 동지 경의하는 김종은 동지께서 국방종합대학 축하 방문을 기념하여 역사적인 연설을 하셨습니다 김정은 동지께서는 가장 성스럽고 정의로운 사명을 안고 태어나 조국과 혁명 앞에 쌓아올린 자랑스러운 공은과 학적으로 그 이름을 빛내온 공화국 최고의 국방과학기술학원이 창립 예순돌을 기념하게 되면 우리 당과 인민의 커다란 기쁨이며 온 나라의 경사라고 하시면서 당중앙위원회와 정부 전체 공화국 무력을 대표하여 대학의 전체 교원, 연구사들과 일꾼들, 학생들을 열렬히 축하하셨습니다.